Okay, I can't. I can't. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't. What's going on guys? I'm Destiny Rogers and today I am here with a whole snack and I'm gonna be trying some snacks from Japan. So let's get started. I don't know what it is. I they look like little grapes. I'm excited, I guess. <laughs> I also have never tried any like Japanese snacks before, so like this is this is the first. And I'm also like a very picky eater as well. What I like is what I like and I don't really venture out. So um, thank you, a whole snack for getting me out of my comfort zone today. Here we go. This is the first one. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. It's sour. Well, yo, what? Who do you think you would have the most fun with at the casino? <laughs> Kelani, Post Malone, and Billie Eilish, and why? <gasps> oh my god. I have to pick one? Oh my god. Mm. I feel like I would choose Billie Duh. only because Billie and I are closer in age and like, well, yeah, we are. You have to be 21 to get into a casino, but Morongo Casino, you could be 18. So that's a casino that me and her can go to since she'll be able to get in. But I just feel like just because we're both young and we're pretty similar in age, and I just feel like just give us like a hundred bucks and just go gamble. I feel like we could have some fun. Oh, look, I get a little, little something. Ooh. Let me know who wants it. Here we go. Ten out of ten. Bruh. This is bomb. <laughs> this is bomb. For sure. And I have chapstick on, so the crumbs are getting stuck to my lips. <laughs> the Barracks is like one of the most iconic professional indoor skate parks. So I went in and it's just cool, man, like getting to skate the Barracks and growing up and seeing you know, professional skateboarders skating the barracks, like literally my whole life. And so I've always just wanted to go skate and finally I had the chance to. And now it's tight because I'm cool with Steve Barra, which is one of the owners of the barracks. And he tells me I can skate there whenever I want now. So your dreams do come true. You just gotta, you just gotta follow them, kids. All right, ooh, it smells good. Ooh, it smells like bubble gum. Melon creamy soda, okay. Okay, we'll see what we Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Okay, this is really good. Wow. Holy mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this is definitely gonna wash it down with whatever this is. This is fire. This is fire. I'm not trying to change the mood and get deep or anything, but I think the biggest sacrifice, at least for myself and my mom, was when my parents split up. Um, my parents split up when I was 14, and I obviously didn't know what to do. My mom lost her job on top of that, so we were honestly going through like one of the hardest, you know, times of our lives. I was young, so I didn't know how to support my mom. I didn't know how to make my mom feel better because I was so young and it was just me and her in the house. So we were both obviously going through it. And I like, I just really didn't know what to do. So obviously I went to music and music really helped me. And my mom, even when she found, when she ended up getting, you know, a job, she put down, she kind of became like my, my investor, but like she was just putting down a lot of money just to buy me new guitars and buy me you know, trips to LA so I could just go, you know, out here and live my dream. So um, I say the sacrifice was just kind of my mom not knowing if I was going to be successful, but her still putting her child first and believing in her child to follow, you know, their dream. So um, I got to owe it all to my mom for that one. Okay. I'm not gonna, oops. Oh my God. Oh my God. 
Yo, I hate seafood, bro. Oh my God, and it literally <laughs> smells so bad. Oh my God, and I thought this was gonna be bad, bro. No way. Oh my God. Oh my God. I have to do it, Lil. Like, I have to do it. This is literally fish. Fish, it literally says seasoned cut fish. <laughs> Yo, cat in the corner, she knows. Y'all done did <laughs> me over for this one, bro. Oh my God. Do y'all smell it? Yeah. <laughs> Can y'all please just get a whiff of this, please, so y'all know, y'all know what's about. Oh my God, all right. Mm. I gotta say a prayer. Oh God, I know it. <laughs> Dude, I'm, this is no joke. This is no joke. I'm literally so bad when it comes to food, like fish. Like, okay, I'm just gonna do it. How does that sound? I'm just gonna stop complaining and just do it. Mm, I know this isn't gonna make it feel better, but it'll make me feel better if I just give it a little sniff. <laughs> do I gotta eat the whole thing? Can I just take a bite? All right. Mm. I'm sorry, I can't do it. I have to do it, Lil. I have, like, to, I have do to do it. it. I thought I would be able to do I it because it tasted like it. beef jerky and I love beef jerky. But I just I just started tasting the fish and let me just tell you. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm just wash it down with my melon creamy soda. I'm sorry, no disrespect. I love I love everything from Japan, but <laughs> get this get this away from me. Thanks. All right, my bad. All right. Okay. I mean, I do have my feminine side. She comes out when she wants to, when she feels like it. But I think just, I mean, the girliest thing I've done is just like wore a dress, I guess. Like I, I do like to like look nice if I'm going to somewhere formal, like a wedding or like a baby shower or something. Like I like to like look good in that way, like a bad. No. So like I, I like I just like to wear like recently I just like started wearing like body suits and oh. stuff but like I'll switch it up and wear just like a fire sneaker so um I mean yeah I mean like girliest thing just wear a dress that's about as girly as it gets <laughs> all right I've been afraid of this guy since I walked in here mm, it doesn't smell as bad as the fish sticks. <laughs> But all right, there's literally um, instructions on how to open this. So pull down tab, this tab right here. Um, by the way, what this says, it is a sour plum rice ball. <laughs> so yummy. Wait, why is the, did I do it wrong? Why is the seaweed on the outside and the rice is, wait. Okay, it can't be as bad as those little sticks over there. All right. I don't think I can do it. Bruh. I'm such a... Yeah, I can't. I can't. Oh my God. Oh my God, I can't. Oh my God, people are gonna talk so much to me. Dude, I can, I swear, like I, I can't do the, this red thing, that's fish right there. That's some, that's some type of something. God, I'm such a bitch, bro. People are going to hate me after this. They're not gonna fucking support me. Dude, this was literally like, it wasn't, I prefer that over this, bro. This was literally, I'll literally eat another one, but I'm not, but I would if I had to over this. Like, I swear, I don't get it. God, this is so rude. I just need to, I need to fucking just grow up. A cute one. I think my favorite part about Lodi is I obviously it's bittersweet coming from a small town, but I do love that I am from a small town and of how small it is. I feel like Lodi, we just all come together, you know, as a community. Like we have farmers markets, we have street fairs, you know, people put together bands and like go perform out in the street. Like we have cute little events that we do all together as a community and um 
you know, I feel like just growing up, I did live, you know, a great childhood in Lodi. Went to school, you know, I did sports, I did softball, and I skated and everything. So I just think the main thing that I love about my town is that we are all one, we're a whole, and we come together as a community and um, it's just, it's just family, it's home. This is, this is pretty cool. This is the first thing that stood out to me when I seen what I was about to eat. Um, yeah, it looks pretty cute. There, there ain't no fish in this. No, but it does smell like a little cheeseburger. Huh? <laughs> like a little McDouble. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, there's chocolate inside. All right, here we go. I don't taste anything. Like there's like no flavor in there. But let me just get, let me just, this is what the, the inside looks like. Some gooey, some gooey stuff. I can't taste it. There's no flavor in this, whatever it is. So I can't even tell you if I like it or not. That's a good question. I honestly, I'm gonna bring up Billie Eilish again because I love her so much. I feel like a dream tour would definitely be me and her because I feel like our personalities are pretty similar and I feel like we could have some fun on the road, but our sound is also very different. So I just feel like that would be kind of a cool little, you know, little mix. So um, definitely a tour with Billie Eilish and I honestly would wanna hit everywhere. Like I got to kind of experience the tour life last year. I went to the US and I was in Europe. so. I definitely do want to reach Asia, that side, like go to Japan, go to Korea, go to, you know, China, all these places. So um, definitely want to expand my my boundaries and pretty much hit everything, even the Philippines, everywhere, I'm trying to go everywhere.